What is this exhibition all about? Uh, this uh, exhibition is about English modernity, or British modernity, I should say. It is called A Clockwork Jerusalem for a Reason, it, because the title already more or less introduces uh, the themes we have, uh, we, we explain or we show in, inside. It, on the one hand, clockwork, clockwork orange, uh, the, dis the famous uh, dystopian futuristic uh, film uh, by Stanley Kubrick that used the then brand new Thames Mead uh, development in London as its uh, backdrop. Jerusalem is the new Jerusalem as it features in the poem by William Blake, which really, to our mind, introduces is the, the kind of the source code of uh, mod modernity. A national pavilion is a strange concept in the first place, you know, in a 21st century world, the idea of the state is kind of a conf confusing thing anyway. So to, to, to work with Alta and, and Crimson uh, was was a kind of way of evading a certain kind of parochialism that, that often pervades a national pavilion. As much as, it, as it's a show about history that, that uses history, it's actually really about uh, an, an argument for what architecture and planning uh, can and should be. As you walk in, you approach, you, you see um, an enormous mound of earth um, with a pink staircase leading up to it. Could you explain that? Well, over the course of the, the research that, that, that we undertook, it, it became apparent that actually the, 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 the strange and perhaps unique feature of, of British architecture is the mounds. And the, the mound um, that we've constructed here is a mound which is every mound. It's the mounds of Neolithic Britain, the, the giant earthworks of Silbury Hill, for example, as part of the landscape of Stonehenge and, and Avebury and so on. So the mound is a sort of representative of a, of a certain kind of uh, a feature, but it's also a provocation. It's, it's also something which represents a burial mound, a kind of end, but, but at the same time, the construction site, the place where things can begin. So in that sense, it's incredibly symbolic gesture we feel to, to to place you know this this huge mound of earth in the center of the the british pavilion it's also i suppose a kind of un architecture as well it's like a state either after or before architecture and in that sense it has this kind of destabilizing quality